Hello friends. In this video, I will provide a brief overview of the CIPP model for curriculum evaluation created by Daniel Stuffelbeam. CIPP is an acronym for Context, Input, Process, and Product. CIPP evaluation model is widely used to evaluate a program, policy, or a curriculum. Let's start with understanding context evaluation. Context evaluation is used to give a rational reason for why a curriculum have to be implemented. It also involves studying the environment in which a curriculum is run. It is generally done when a new program is launched. For example, if an educational program is to be launched for learners with special needs, a thorough needs analysis is required before the launch of the program. It is imperative to understand the problems faced by these learners and the learning environment should be tweaked to provide them with easy access to the learning tools. Next, let's see what input evaluation is. Input evaluation is done to provide information about the sources that can be used to achieve the program objectives. It helps in finding a strategy to solve the problem and helps in planning. For example, for input evaluation of an education program for learners with special needs, the budget for the program, the schedule for the classes, infrastructure, learning strategies, media, teaching staff etc. should be taken into consideration. Now, let's see process evaluation. This evaluation is done to identify if the education program is as per the strategies finalized for it. It is carried out to monitor potential sources that can cause failure and necessary adjustment are made to enhance the impact of the program and prevent its failure. For example, if it is found that the learners with special needs are not performing well in the tests, there is need to evaluate the process and find out the reason. This can be done by talking to these learners, observing them in the class, interacting with the teachers, and having focus group discussions. The overall objective of all this is to identify the gaps due to which the education program is not effective and fill that gap. Finally, let's discuss product evaluation. It measures the achievement of the program objectives. It is conducted during and after the program. On the basis of the data collected during this evaluation, it is decided if the program is good, requires modification, or should be terminated. For example, for the learners with special needs the data for product evaluation would be gathered through instruments like test sheets, interview sheets, examination results, research outputs, publications, etc. On the basis of the qualitative and quantitative data, the program evaluator would decide the fate of the education program. This brings us to the end of the video. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. We would be coming up with more interesting and informative videos soon. Till then, keep learning and growing.